All right, hi guys, I'm back and I've got another video regarding this upcoming winter season. But before I get into that, I wanna remind you that if you haven't joined my pro site yet, I invite you to do that. You can join at www.patreon.com slash Ohio Valley Weather. Well, when it comes to this upcoming winter season, I believe one of the things that is going to have a big effect on this winter is the eruption of the Tonga volcano uh, that happened earlier this year. It actually began on December 20th, 2021, and it finished with a large eruption of that volcano on January 15th of this year. That eruption threw huge amounts of aerosols and particulate matter into the atmosphere along with large amounts of water vapor, and I believe that this is all going to have a cooling effect on the Earth's atmosphere that could last for several years. And I'm basing that on what happened with Mount Pinatubo back in 1991. On June 15th of 1991, Mount Pinatubo erupted, and at the time it was the largest volcanic eruption uh, in modern time. This graph shows what happens to the temperature of the Earth following that eruption, and you can see that the temperature dropped dramatically, and it stayed fairly low for several years. Even out five years later, the temperature had still not recovered to where it had been before the eruption. And again, I believe we're going to see something similar to this due to the Tonga volcano that erupted earlier this year. Now, another thing uh, that I wanted to show you was the amount of snow that's already out there. This is showing the, the snow depth as of today in the Northern Hemisphere. And you can see uh, most of Russia is now covered by snow. Alaska, Northern Canada, all covered by snow. And now we're starting to see the snow come down into Southern Canada and even to the Northern parts of the United States. In fact, we are expecting to get some snow possibly tonight here in the Ohio Valley and over the next couple of days. So the snowpack is expanding. And as it does, the white from the snow, the white color has a very high albedo, which means that it reflects so much of the Earth, of the sun's radiation back into space. And so it prevents warming. And so the snow actually helps to make it get colder. So as this snow accumulates, that is going to help to fuel even colder temperatures moving forward. Another thing we need to consider is that we're having a La Nina for a third year in a row. And you can see from this graph that we are very close to the minus one degree Celsius for the Pacific Ocean waters. If we can get down to that minus one uh, threshold, then the La Nina would be considered moderate rather than weak. Currently, it is considered to be a weak La Nina, but we are expecting to see it go moderate uh, here within the next few weeks. Another thing we need to consider is the Arctic Oscillation or the AO. So the Arctic Oscillation is a measurement of the strength of the polar vortex. When the Arctic Oscillation is positive, that means that the polar vortex is strong and that keeps all of the Arctic air locked up in the Arctic Circle where it belongs. But when the, Arctic's, when the Arctic Oscillation goes negative, then that means that the polar vortex is weakening, which allows the Arctic air to spill down into the lower latitudes, uh, or in other words, the United States and potentially the Ohio Valley. And you can see we had a very positive AO for the first part of October, which is why we had very warm temperatures a week or so ago. But now the AO has been trending in the negative direction, and guess what? It's getting cold. 
Now, we are expecting it to go back up towards neutral, and next week I am expecting a, a warm period because of this. But looking forward, look at this forecast of this AO. It's looking like for most of November and at least most of December that the, the AO is going to be negative. And this sets us up for frequent intrusions of Arctic air uh, into uh, the United States, including the Ohio Valley. Now, another thing we need to consider is the Pacific North American pattern or the PNA. So this, the PNA measures the temperature of the Western United States and the coast, the West Coast. When the PNA is positive, that means that the Western United States has warmer temperatures than normal. And when the PNA is negative, the Western United States has colder temperatures than normal. Typically, what happens is that in the East, we do the opposite of what is happening in the West. So when the West is warm, the Eastern United States tends to be cold. And just look at what is being forecasted for the PNA. Um, over the next few days, it's gonna wobble back and forth here, but then going forward towards the end of October and into November, we're looking at a very positive PNA uh, for most of November and even slightly positive, it's looking like right now into December. So this means that the warm air will be out west in the Western United States, which will likely force colder air into the Eastern United States, including the Ohio Valley. And so based on all this, this is the current polar jet stream pattern. And you can see how we're getting this huge ridge over the west. And so this is allowing warm air to come into the west. That's that positive PNA. And then this creates a ridge uh, over the west and it creates a trough over the eastern United States. And this trough, look how deep this trough goes all the way down into the south which is gonna pull cold air into the Eastern United States. And notice this is for Wednesday, just two days from now. And this is why we're expecting cold temperatures and snow in the Ohio Valley over the next couple of days. And I think based on what we're seeing with La Nina, what we're seeing with the Arctic Oscillation and what we're seeing with the PNA, I believe that this pattern that we're looking at right here is going to be the pattern that we will frequently see throughout this winter. And so this pattern is going to kind of tell the story as far as what we should expect. Warmer temperatures in the West, very cold temperatures in the East and snowstorms that are gonna follow this track of this polar jet stream. And so based on that, I am now making my first uh, snowfall prediction for this winter. And you can see this is following that pattern that we just saw. I believe uh, the Eastern United States, especially the Northeast, including the Ohio Valley, is where we're going to see the most snow this winter. I'm saying at least 20% more snow than normal. Just below that in this area, you can see where I'm expecting above normal snow, but maybe not quite so much, between 10 and 20% above normal. And then below that, we have this area where I believe is gonna see basically what they would see in a normal year. And then down here, this will be below normal snow. I'm not expecting much snow at all uh, for these locations down here. And again, that's based on um, the, the positive PNA, the negative AO, and the La Nina that we have in place. Now, looking at this, I thought it would be interesting to find uh, an analog year. In other words, a year that had almost the same conditions as what we're having now. And what I found was this. Uh, the best analog season for this year, I believe, is the 1995-96 season. And during that season, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, got 74.5 inches of snow compared to a normal year of 44.1 inches of snow. 
This was 73.5% above normal. Now, why do I think this is a good analog year? Well, notice the dates, 95 to 96. This is right in that time frame after the Pinatubo eruption. So we had the cooling from the volcano, plus 95, 96 was a La Nina year. And so those two things, we had La Nina and also the volcanic eruption, and it resulted in significantly more snow for the Ohio Valley. And so I believe that this is what we can expect this year. Once again, if you haven't joined my pro site, I invite you to do so. You can join there at www.patreon.com slash Ohio Valley weather. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.